I'm not going to give you a vague opinion over which CSS unit to use, drag this video out for one over, and then give you a semester long explanation on the history of every single CSS unit. This is real advice that you can use right now. I'll tell you the best unit to use, units to use for niche case scenarios, units to avoid, and finally, I'll tell you about the rule of eight, which is something that you might not know about. Rem is the unit you'll want to get the most familiar with in CSS. It's the most scalable and it's used in most industry level jobs. Rem scales from the root, meaning it'll be the most consistent unit you can use. To set it up, all you do is set your HTML to a set font size in pixels. Your Rem is now based on that size you set. For simplicity, set it to 16 pixels and when you put one Rem in now, it'll use that 16 pixels as one Rem. You can now scale your whole website using just that and you can take it a step further using Clamp. You can use Rem for padding, layout, and font size. There are some niche case scenarios where you don't want to use Rem and I'll go over those as well. For Tailwind users, Tailwind already uses Rem in these classes, so if you're using Tailwind, just stick with these and you'll be fine. There are some scenarios where you don't want to use it though. For example, percentage or viewport. You'll use these less frequently, but these have their own purpose for relative width inside containers or full viewport layouts that will always be a set size. Tailwind already utilizes this with these styles, so these are the ones to look out for. Use them for the correct scenarios along with Rem for its intended purpose, and that will be all you need. Now, there are some units of styles you want to avoid. These styles right here are the styles you want to avoid unless you know what you're doing or are utilizing edge cases. You don't want to touch these. The only exception might be for pixels using box shadows or borders, but that's it. From work experience, in an office where I had to build live websites, I can tell you right now, the issues and problems that come when trying to scale these units are horrible. And most of them are very complicated anyway for no reason and don't get used in most workplaces to begin with. Another thing that'll make your life easier look good to employers and make your code far cleaner is using the rule of eight. Your spacing should be in eight pixel increments and this translates to 0.5 rem increments if your root size is 16 pixels. To not waste your time, here's a few examples of the rule of eight being used. It's straightforward, it's consistent, and it's a sign of a developer who thinks ahead. Tailwind already follows this. For example, P2 is 0.5 rem under the hood. If you ever used Tailwind and wondered why everything just clicked, responsiveness was correct, and your site was just far cleaner, this is why. I could drag this video out for far longer and give you more and more obscure tips, but truthfully, this is all you need to know. Anything else you can learn on the field or from experience. If you appreciate this video, leave a comment. It just motivates me to keep making more content.